Hey there students and welcome to the Mr. Sin channel. In this video, we're gonna be going over different economic activities and services that happen in every economy. We'll be covering the primary sector, secondary sector, tertiary sector, quaternary sector, and the quinary. So sit back, relax as we explore the economy. So this video is looking at all the different things that happen in an economy, and it's going to be important for you to be following along with notes. I really recommend that you take your own notes or use my guided notes that are found in the description below. This will help you understand the main concepts. Our first economic sector is the primary sector. Now think of this as kind of stage one. This is us gathering resources. So people who are in this part of the economy are going to be people who interact directly with nature and the environment. This would be fishermen. This is gonna be coal miners, people who are farmers. They are harvesting, they're collecting a resource. And so they are going to be dependent on that resource. They're gonna be located close to whatever resource they'll be using because they'll have to interact with it on a day-to-day -day basis to be able to produce for their family and to be able to produce their product. So the product here is just connected to the natural resource. Now I should mention too, before we go on to our next sector, that the most important job in the primary sector is going to be agriculture, because these are the people who are gonna be providing us food. So that's really important as that creates then a functioning society. Now the next actual economic sector is going to be our secondary sector. These are activities that are going to take the raw resources from the primary and actually turn them into something here. Here we have the manufacturing or the production. So if we had food grown in the first one, here we're turning it into maybe cereal or maybe it's actually being put into a bottle and being sold if it's milk. So we have a production that is happening here. We are combining things and creating then a resource now or final good that it has a greater value than when it came in. So the value of these products is going up as we get ready to sell them. Now, one thing to note here for the location, it's a little bit different. For the most part, it's either gonna be located near the raw resources or near to the market. It's going to depend on transportation and costs. The goal here is to be sure that you're maximizing your profits. And so you wanna keep your costs low. If it makes more sense because items are bulkier to have your production facilities near your resources, then you would locate there. However, if they're not as bulky, easy to transport, you might have them in a different area. Maybe you'll have distribution centers around a society. Or if they're perishable, they might need to be really next to that market so you can get them quickly and reduce costs. So that's gonna be kind of the deciding factor of location. If we're looking for like an ideal region though in society for these industries to locate, it's going to be one that has workforce that has a skilled workforce that can actually do it with low energy costs, low production costs, and even maybe access to transportation because you're gonna to have to send these products all over. So that's gonna be important. Again though, the secondary sector is defined by our production. So that's important to remember the difference between primary and secondary. The next economic activity is going to be our tertiary sector. This is defined by people who provide services for society. So a lawyer, a doctor, someone who's a salesperson, all of these would be service industries. They aren't providing you a final good, but they're providing a service. Now the location for tertiary is going to be dependent on where it's needed. So services will locate where they're needed in society. So you're not gonna have a hospital in the middle of nowhere. The doctors wouldn't have anyone to treat. You're going to have bigger hospitals near more urban centers because you have a greater need. So that's important to understand. These will be around society in areas that need them. Now, one thing to understand too is primary, secondary, and our tertiary, these are the three main economic sectors. The next two that we're gonna get into are a little bit subsects and can actually overlap a little bit. And that's where it can get confusing, but it all depends on the context of what the prompt of a question is saying or what situation we're looking at. So now that we have an understanding of our primary, secondary, and tertiary, let's go into our last two and get a little bit more in depth into other aspects of the economy. The next part of our economy is going to be looking at quaternary sectors. Now, this one overlaps with tertiary. Some examples of this one are gonna be like a teacher or even a researcher. 
The reason why is this sector of the economy is focused on research, on learning, on understanding information, and distributing it. Now, this has changed a lot. These industries can be located, or job professions, kind of anywhere, especially with the help of new communication and technology. So for example, right now I'm filming at my house and I'm going over all this different content that I've researched to understand and I'm distributing it through YouTube. So you can understand at your house or your school or wherever you may be. We might not even be in the same country. However, thanks to technology, this information is still being distributed. So this one has a very wide range and they don't have to be close to the resource. You don't have to be right by my house to get this information. So if you're in this section of the economy, it's all about information, understanding the process, learning more and distributing your knowledge. If we go back to the example of a farmer, let's say that farmer is trying to grow food. Well, for them, they're gonna be in the primary sector. However, the researcher looking to improve the yield of the farmer and try to figure out how to get more out of each seed would be in the quaternary sector. So that's important to understand the context there of what would be being asked. Let's go on to our last now sector of the economy and then we'll wrap up the video. Our last economic sector is going to be the quinary sector. Now this sector is all about decision making and leadership. People who fall under this category would be CEOs. This would be the President of the United States. This is the part of our economy that are making the decisions. They're setting the rules. And it's an extension of our quaternary sector. It's also kind of an extension of the tertiary because these are the people who are deciding what's gonna happen. So for example, in quaternary, I gave the example of how teachers are collecting information and sharing them. And that's why they fall under that category. However, the AP board sets the articulations of what AP Human Geography or A Push or any other AP teacher has to teach. Or the curriculum directors, they're the ones who are going to decide what should be taught. Or at the same time, curriculum writers from the state level. Or you could even get into the board of education and how they're setting standards. They're the ones setting the rules that the teachers have to play by. We could also look at the CEO of a company. We could look at Amazon or Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg sets all the parameters for Facebook to provide the service or to provide their different goods. And then the employees, even if they have researchers, might be part of the quaternary, but they have to listen to what Zuckerberg has to say. Hopefully this is kind of making sense, both of the quaternary and quinary, how they're different, and also how they connect to our main three economic sectors. Now, while this video covered the different economic sectors, I didn't have a chance to actually break down the tertiary activities where we'll actually look at consumers and businesses and public things. That's gonna be important to understand. Check out my next video that'll go into all those different concepts. And if this video helped you out, consider subscribing. It helps the channel and hopefully it'll help you because I'll keep making more videos. If you want notifications, make sure to click the bell. I'm Mr. Sin and until next time, I'll see you online.